Hello friends, welcome to my living room. Look what I found at the grocery store, a lollipop. Okay, actually not really, April Fools. You know, life these days feels like an April Fools joke gone on too long, gone bad. And it's hard to give ourselves permission to feel our feelings, to be disappointed even in the little things. I mean, broccoli's good for you, but it's not the lollipop we were hoping for. And there's a lot of things that we are having to let go of, having to grieve the loss of, celebrations with friends and family, small things and big things. We're all trying to deal with, our, with this virus, do our best and wash our hands and remember to stay six feet apart and not see people that we care about. And it's hard, it's hard. And you know, my hero, Mr. Rogers, he says that when we talk about our feelings, they become less scary. Anything mentionable, he says, is manageable. And that's good to remember. It's also good to remember that it is okay to feel upset. It is okay to be disappointed. And when we feel those feelings, scripture has many things to say to us. The book of Psalms is a prayer book uh, of the people of God pouring out their feelings before God. And Philippians, the book that we've been studying together, uh, in Philippians 4, there's a scripture, Be glad in the Lord always. Again, I say be glad. Let your gentleness show in your treatment of all people. Wow, if that isn't a scripture for this time, it says, be glad in the Lord, not, of course, in our circumstances, not in the things that are bothering us, not be glad anyway, um, because other people have it worse. And while that may be true, it's okay to be disappointed, to be upset, to be scared and worried. But scripture calls us to be glad in the Lord, because Jesus is always steady and sure. Be glad in the Lord always. Again, I say be glad. Let your gentleness show in your treatment of all people. The Lord is near. Don't be anxious about anything. Instead, bring up all your requests to God in your prayers and petitions, along with giving thanks. And you know, it's okay if it takes you a while to get to don't be anxious. While you're anxious, Bring your request to God and remember Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving turns our heart towards Jesus. And then scripture says the peace of God that exceeds all understanding will keep your hearts and your minds safe in Christ Jesus. Our hearts and our minds will be safe because we know the peace of God even if we can't explain it, even when we don't know how it works, we can know God's peace. So friends, I encourage you to feel your feelings. I encourage you to name them and share them and know that anything mentionable is manageable. And know that the Lord is near and that he offers peace that passes all understanding, even in this time. My heart is with you. Amen.